Hi guys, welcome to video blog number 10. Today I'm going to tell you a story why you should isolate the woman from the horde. Because if a wolf wants to tear a sheep, he has to isolate that sheep from the horde. This is the sheep by the way. This, look at it, this is the sheep. Imagine this. I would be a very, very rich banker. I own a bank, okay? And because I'm thinking that you're such a really cool guy, I'm telling you, hey, you're such a cool guy, I'm gonna give you a job in my bank. You are gonna have a salary of 100 million dollars per year. And because you are such a cool guy, I am going to throw a party for you. And on this party, you can choose a hundred women. Like if you want the hundred most beautiful women in the country or in the world, doesn't matter, you will choose them. And they are all going to come to this party. Naked. Just for you. And the only condition you have is you may not make out with any of these women on that party if you do you're gonna lose everything you're gonna lose the job you're gonna lose the 100 million dollars per year you're gonna lose everything so you come to this big mansion where the party takes place and you open the doors and all of the girls are approaching you they're not approaching you they're like fighting over you okay like they build a circle around you just to grab your attention just to make you look at them how they look naked okay the hundred most beautiful women of the world naked just there because of you and every single one of them wants to make out with you and you're in the middle of this party and I am standing upstairs at this balcony looking down if you will make out with them or not. And guess what? You are probably not gonna do it. But then one girl, which is really beautiful, she's just your type, she's perfect and she's naked too. She comes up to you and whispers into your ear, hey, let's go over there and hide behind that pillar where nobody will see us and you can do with me whatever you like whatever you like and let's assume you are 100% sure that I am never going to see you there and I will never find out because she will tell me you would be just sure in that moment you would be sure would you do it or not would you go over there and hide behind that pillar and do with her whatever you like if you would be sure that I would never find out would you do it probably yes so the thing is that metaphor I call it um, eliminate the banker in that case I was the banker okay in cases where you are flirting with a woman, seducing her, in those cases you have to always think about who is her banker, okay? She might not probably have a real banker that is standing on some kind of balcony and looking down to, on her, but maybe she has a best friend and that best friend knows that she just broke up with her boyfriend and she's still some kind of with him and stuff and the girl you are flirting with she doesn't want to look like a whore in front of her girlfriend's eyes okay so then the girlfriend is the banker maybe she's with her family that's even worse okay but maybe maybe the banker isn't someone she knows 
maybe the banker is just somebody standing around okay somebody just casually standing around and looking at you too because it's looking somehow weird because you approach her on the street and she's looking at him and she's like hey if I give him my number will I be a whore that that's a question women ask themselves a lot a lot of times okay in moments like for example when you make out with a girl in the club what are you thinking what is the first thought you have when you drop off the first time after the first kiss what are you thinking probably you're thinking hey this is so cool this is awesome I'm such a cool dude she's so cool the kiss was amazing she tastes so good what does she think am I a slut am I a whore did somebody I know see that okay and because she has those thoughts that are perfectly normal to her like every woman has those thoughts maybe not immediately after the first kiss like she can also think like how good you tasted and stuff that's also cool but she will always have this thought of how am I going to look in front of society's eyes when I do that okay and it's your responsibility to isolate her mind from those thoughts because those thoughts will only stand in your way uh, when you're trying to seduce her that's that's normal you know that you have to isolate her mind from those thoughts she has to be in such a comfort with you that those thoughts in the best case don't even come up and if they come up they have to be equal to her she has to f in the best case she has to feel nothing towards those thoughts so they disappear immediately again okay so she do she doesn't hang herself up in this circle of thoughts like I did this oh my god I did this what will they think of me and stuff you know this ongoing circle of telling herself that she did wrong when when she kissed you and stuff bias remorse you know you know what bias remorse is bias remorse is when a girl made had had a make out with you and after that she regrets it because it went too fast it wasn't calibrated enough it was not emotionally she had no memories to it that were detailed because she was drunk or something like that and just negative thoughts when she thinks about you and making out with you that is biased remorse and the outcome from biased remorse is that she won't meet you again okay she will avoid meeting you again in fact that biased remorse often comes from this banker it's not only that the banker has to be an outstanding person the banker sometimes can be in herself sometimes she will have thoughts that will prohibit her to meet you again okay because these thoughts are telling her because she has been socially conditioned that way if you meet him again you're gonna be a slut you're gonna be a whore you're gonna lose this you're gonna lose that and the only thing that you can do against it is to give her so much more benefits that she cannot say no to you that's the best art of seduction to give someone benefits because it's like with the compliments nobody can defend himself against a compliment same with benefits you won't be able to say no if the benefit is high enough and what most people in pickup forget is that pickup and seduction is about bringing benefits to someone it's about giving okay it's about seduction is like she's on a diet and you're putting her favorite cake in front of her nose she can say no at any time but she will probably taste it and if it tastes good she's gonna eat the whole cake you know what I mean you have to present her the cake she wants 
and that you find out by screening you screen her what do you want what are your dreams what do you really want in life you have to know these answers from her so you can seduce her properly but to find those answers out you have to isolate her from the environment in which she's in and that is really really easy to accomplish you know what you gotta do point one you have to change her field of view okay that in that direction she views is one image okay and at the time you approach her she's looking into one direction okay and when she's looking into that one direction she checks in her field of view if somebody could be a banker okay and by turning her just 180 degrees around so she has another field of view she doesn't care anymore about what happened behind her back okay she doesn't care anymore of course she will look around a bit and stuff but her focus will be on you and that is the trick in it you just have to turn her around 180 percent to change her field of view and to put her focus onto you after that even easier than that is to change the location like for example from the dance floor to the bar to the smokers area from the point on the street where you approached her into some kind of store into a cafe there is a saying in pickup you just have to switch five locations with a girl so she starts trusting you to switch locations with you so you can pull her home okay just five locations same with emotions uh, there is a saying in pickup you have to let her feel five different emotions so she will fall in love with you okay those are just sayings but try it out for yourself I can tell they really work out great okay they really work you just have to believe in it okay just try it out next time you're in game and try to switch five locations try to isolate her try, try to change her field of view and try to cut off the banker give her five different emotions to feel and she will fall in love with you you can pull her home and start the happy relationship if you still want it there make sure to check out the vlog from yesterday it's really really good I talk about 15 minutes uh, about a really really common reason why girls do not want to see guys and why they are not special and why she does not own you her attention and after that uh, 50 minutes or so of partying instant kiss close is in it just watch it okay see you next time see you tomorrow bye bye so what is it that makes those guys who do not understand this so ugly in the eyes of the woman You always should wear something special. We talked about that earlier, be special.